Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we're going to continue with our warehouse modeling. Uh, I would like to mention that all the design and drawings of this project belongs to Mr. Yase Gorka. We're going to continue with step 11, model warehouse perimeter precast wall using 200 millimeter walls as curtain wall panel provide measurements. So from grid 3 to 1 here and back to grid 3, this part is concrete. The other side is kind of a curtain glass system. So let's do the concrete part first and let's see some dimensions on the section. So the wall starts from here and it seems that it goes all the way to parapet level. This is the wall that we are talking about. So uh, from now on, we need to continue on level one. We're going to move from level three to one and like this. So let's go with wall. Uh, this wall is already designed here. Uh, curtain wall systems can be designed in a way that they are ne not necessarily glass, but modular, right? So we're going to go from level one up to parapet. I'm going to click on the intersection here and I'm going to continue all, all the way around till I get back to uh, grid number three. So if you go from intersection, which is the center line here, the end of your wall will be exactly um, matching with the reference plane that we already had. How about I also open the 3D view, go back level 1, WT. So these are the walls that we created. You can also hide the mass if you want here. You can select the mass, right click, hide in view category. So both masses are hidden now. Okay. Uh, let's also click on section here. We want to make sure that this wall goes to parapet and what we see here matches with what we see in section here. That is good. Uh, we are on a step 11. Provide the measurements as per level 1 floor, which is what we have here. We have measurements on the left side and on the bottom. Uh, how about I just close these views? I want to put my PDF file and Revit file side by side so I can provide the exact measurements. So we don't have much measurements on the top, but we have one on this wall. So now I'm going to place a door in here. So I'm going to go with architecture, door, it's a 915 door, so that is correct. And I want to place it here. Okay, so we also have the door. We also have a garage door here. So I'll go with doors. And it's this one. And I can place it here. Uh, the garage door that we see here is 2600. So I want to select this door. And I wanna, you see this says 2400. I wanna go with edit type and duplicate it. And this way I can change the name to 2600, okay. And okay. And in the width here, I'm gonna change it to 2600. Now it's better. Now I'm gonna make sure that the door location is correct. I'm gonna click here. And uh, I want to move this temporary dimension, maybe this other one to here, and the second one to the start of the door. So from the center line to the start of the door, it's supposed to be 909, so I'm going to click here 909. Now it's better. That's one thing. Another thing here is actually I also need my 3D view here. This door, or basically, that grid needs to move a little bit so the door is on the grid. So what do I mean? Let's go to 3D. I'm going to put this on hidden line so I can see better. This one 
I want to uh, click here so I can change the grid width. Let's see, from the end of the door till here, I want to add 374 uh, to that grid. So I want to go with 374 plus 1700, so 1700 plus 374, 2074. I'm going to change this to 2074. So my grid matches kind of with the door. I'm going to raise this. Now DI, one click here, one click here, here and here. That's already correct. One click here, and you see this one is not correct. We should fix it. One click here, one click and one click here. So let's put this dimension here. The first three dimensions are correct. This next one, which is this one, instead of 22, 26, it's, it needs to be, first I need to unlock it here, then click here, 2, 6, 7, 6. And then this next one, I want to hit uh, escape, hit tab, this one, uh, unlock it. So select the grid, unlock it, and this needs to be 2600. Okay, and let's see it here. I'm going to move the door M, or actually modify, move from here to here. So that's just our section. Now it's 2676, 2600, 1900, 350. Right? So your dimensions regarding the door and the grid location should match with uh, what we have on the hard copy. Let's see this other side. I believe there is one door here, around there. So I'm going to put another door which is 915 here. Uh, in a way that is 400 millimeters away. Now let's get the dimensions, di from here, start of the door, end of the door, 1285, that's correct, 2600, uh, 2600 here, 400, that is correct, next one, 2200, 2600, and 2600 here, 800 and hit tab, there we go, 350, add the dimensions, so uh, 350, 800, the rest is 2600, 22 and 400 is another 26, 915 and 400. So the dimensions here are exactly correct. We don't have dimensions at the top. So whatever you have is already uh, good. Okay, I'm going to maximize this window. I'll go back to the PDF file. We are good with step 11, continue with 12. This time we have curtain wall storefront, which is, this one is actually glass storefront wall around the office portion, provide measurements as requested. So we are talking about grid three to four and this other end, and then back to grid three. Over there we have the curtain wall. So I'm gonna go with level one, just see the section again. Uh, it also goes from level one all the way to parapet. That's the same situation. So I'm going to go with architecture wall. This time we're going to go with storefront level one to parapet. That's good. I'm going to start here. Move all the way around the office portion and back to here. The wall is flushed on the outside with the concrete part, right? So let's do that here too. Right now, if I actually try to move this, it, it moves the other part of the wall too. So click on the curtain wall, right click on the drag wall and disallow join. Also on the top, click here, right click, disallow join. 
Now you can select this wall, move it from here to here and the other one does not move. Also at the bottom, move it from here to here. The other one does not relocate and maybe this one too. I need to move it from here to here. Okay, uh, for that corner situation, you see how it ends. So it's going to be like this. Later, we can think of uh, a square kind of uh, element, vertical element there. So here, I want to right click this allow join again. So I can move it inside. Also, this allow join here. So this one, I can move it align here. I want to draw RP, a quick reference plane, just so I can move this up. Now it's better. I can get rid of this hit tab reference plane that I just temporarily wanted to have it. Same situation on the other side. So. Right click, disallow join, move it down. I'm going to need a quick RP or reference plane. Right click, disallow join, move it in. Hit tab, delete that reference plane. We, didn't, we don't want it anymore. So this all looks good. Now we need to take care of the dimensions. Again, I would like to put my views side by side, make this smaller. We have one door over there. Uh, first I'll take care of the dimensions, then I'll take care of the door. Do you remember we had an underlay in our level one? We don't need it anymore. So in the view properties, we can go to underlay and go with known because now we have all the walls, right? So I'm going to make dimensions just like there di di from this edge hit tab to here is 200 that's right then till the center line 1143 is correct 1343 1343 keep going and the last one till here and then here. I'm going to click somewhere around here. So 200, 1143, 1343 is basically mirrored. No doors on this side, no door on the top. We have a door here, but first I'm going to take measurements di from the corner to here is 350. Then to here, 1200, the rest of it probably is 1400, 1400, 14, oh, if, if it suddenly stopped, um, you can click on it, go with edit fitness line and we can keep clicking, one more here, another 1400 and another one here and I'm going to move this away. So 350, 200 and the rest. Uh, now finally for the second part we need a door. We can also do it in 3D. The second um, span here is actually a door. I want to hit tab around here so I can select that panel, unlock it. We're going to go to edit type and instead of a system panel, we're going to have a single glass door, OK? If you don't see the handle of the door in 3D, make sure you change the level of details to fine. If I go to level 1, I want to click here. The door swing is different. Now it's correct. OK, so we have one regular door there, one door in the curtain system here, all the dimensions are good. On mezzanine level, we're going to need a 400 floor expanding to inside face of curtain wall, floor to rest on top of the open web 
steel joist. That is what OWSJ is. So we're going to need a 100 floor. We are talking about the floor on the mezzanine level, which is this one. Let's see it here. This is the floor. It starts from inside of the curtain wall system and uh, we're going to fit it here. We'll take care of the stairs later. So I'm going to go to my mezzanine level. We're going to go with architecture floor. This time it's 100 and I'm going to go with the inside of the curtain wall. So this is our curtain wall inside of it, inside of it, inside of it. And it says on the other end, so here I was following the instructions inside of the curtain wall. And on the other side, we want the floor to rest on top of the joist, which means, which means it's going to be here. So, uh, we're going to use trim from here to there, one trim here, trim from here to there, and finally there to there. So it's on the inside here and on the joist there. Uh, we will take care of that landing a bit later. I want to click here. And I want to see it on the section. Okay, it seems all good. It is exactly inside the curtain wall. On that end, it's right on the joist. Uh, later, I'm going to move this a little bit higher. Later, we're going to need to add a landing over there. You can also see the floor on 3D. Just make sure on section, the floor is exactly on the joist and the joist is on the beam, no gaps, no overlaps either. Make sure to save the file. So that's it for this video. We'll continue with the roof and the stairs and then putting the views on the sheets in the next videos. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.